for you too. If you're tattoo lovers, handbag lovers, accessory lovers, the lovers of beauty and birth, what's going on? This is your girl Anj. I'm here with a video because I have a quick question for my duty addicts, duty lovers who love a bone bag. All right, I wanted to show you this bag that I recently got, and it's a bone vanilla. And I've always wanted a bone bag. I stood my first bone bag was the um Kingston. I got it straight from the Duty and Burke um website a couple years ago, and I kindly returned it because I wasn't sure I could maintain it. And then I bought the binocular bone, returned that, it was new. Then I recently bought the um it was a crossbody flap um bag, small. I return that as well. But I always wanted, a, especially this summer, I'm like, I got to get a, a white bag or a bone bag. And because I had have, I have this bag, when I love this size, although I'm not in love with the small satchel, but this bag, for me, served a purpose. You know, it was a shoulder bag. I, um, the opening is not the best, but I know I could get my stuff out of here. It carries well. I could carry it as a crossbody if I choose. So I really love this bag, and I carried it at one point exclusively, and it was black. Could you believe this? I carried this black black bag a lot. So I knew I I knew I liked it. So when this when I saw this come up brand new, it still have the tags in it. I knew I had to have it because I know it's a nice size. The only problem with this bag is that it did not come with the it didn't come with the um it did not come with the extended piece to make it a crossbody, which is fine because I didn't want to carry this a crossbody. So I I got this bag. I was away, I was in San Diego, just got back Saturday, Sunday. But I oh my god, fell in love with the bag and I accidentally laid it next to a black skirt. It wasn't even like, I just laid it down for a little bit, come back, and this is black mark right here. It's gone now. And I was like, what in the world? I haven't even carried this baby. Why are you, what? So, can to clean it up, and then I was like, it's not the end of the world. You really can't see it. So, this bag is the Gunnenberg medium crossbody, some, something. <laughs> and uh, medium... Oh Lord. So let's see. It's right here. It's, it's called the medium zip crossbody. It has the tags together. This bag, I believe it came from QVC. You know how I can tell because QVC don't have the prices. So whoever had this bag didn't like it, lost the center, but that's okay because I didn't want to use it. I love how this bag just like you know how it falls like this. So I love the strap drop. So I know for me, this is a bag I'm definitely going to carry this summer. But the problem is that I'm afraid of it. So if anybody's out there who have a bone bag and carry it as a as a shoulder bag, if you can tell me how you have prevented um, transfers, it you didn't wear any denim, you didn't wear any black. What did you do to prevent this? I've seen. Um, oh, I also have a, a used um, bone bag, and um, I didn't see any color transfer on it. After a while, as it patinaed, it was more yellowish, and which was nice. And that's when I decided that I've only wanted it to be brand new. If I was going to make color transfers or marks or whatever, it's going to be on me. So let's take a look at this bag. It has the two tassels here that I like. To me, this bag is a tiny bit smaller in a small satchel. All in all, they're about the same size. The opening is a little tiny bit smaller, but it's about the same size. Let's take it out. It, it, it came brand new. It had a dust bag inside. Take it out. And it is like, it's deep. It carries a lot in here. So if you have a small satchel, what you carry in your small satchel, you can carry in this. Um, key as a key holder. And it is amazing. So it does not have the cross, it does not have the extended piece to make it a crossbody. However, the black one does. Yeah, so if you I did do a video. I got this black bag for 60 bucks, y'all. And it was like 
pretty much, in my opinion, it was well taken care of. Whoever had it did a fabulous job taking care of it. I've never carried this bag as a crossbody, but if you want to see how it is real quick, I will do that for you. Um, but the bone bag is so striking and it's delicious. So I'm going to put it all the way at the end because it's so long. It's ridiculously long. Like, why? Why? Okay, so here's how we look at the crossbody. And it's, it's, to me, it's like ridiculously long. Like, it's right here. And I necessarily wouldn't carry that bone as a crossbody. But it does come all, I'm 5'3". So it comes all the way down here for crossbody. So if you want it to be a crossbody, that's how it would look. But the shoulder, I already showed you how the shoulder looks. This bag is yummy. Look at all this. Yummy, yummy, yummy vanilla, as I call it. So anyway, I just wanted to show you this bag that I recently purchased and I've been pressed about getting in vanilla, vanilla. It's like a vanilla bean. The, the bone is like like the vanilla bean creamy ice cream. And I'm excited. I can't wait to wear this summer. But let me know how you have been able to manage and care for your bone so I won't freak out. Because I don't like to baby bags. You know, I, I'm like, you live once. Rock the bag. So anyway, um, as I end this in the video, just always seek help when you're not sure. And you know your prayers will always come and help you. I said, help a sister out. Have a good one.